esteemed Vice Chairman Sir, Shri Anirudh Jindal, respected Dean Ma'am, Ms. Prachi Jindal, and our Director Professor Dr. Vikas Nath, our respected teachers, and all the worthy participants who have accepted our invitation and joined us today here, and our fellow organizing team to the inaugural ceremony. is a symbol of brightness and prosperity as sunlight expels the darkness of the night and brings the prosperity and brightness into our life. To bless this competition and the participants present here, let us all pray to God Ganesha for a prosperous start. I hereby request Vice Chairman Sir and the, our guests Dean Ma and our Director Sir to proceed the traditional light light lightning ceremony. मैं थोड़ा ठंडे साइड छोड़ देना आप लोगों को Yeah, I'm from Hachu. 
good morning to one and all present here. I welcome you all to the fifth National Mood Code Competition 2022-23. National Mood Code Competition is an annual national level competition organized by the Court Room, the Law Society, Centre for Legal Studies, Italian International Business School. It brings together students from different law schools of the country to compete in a fast-paced and challenging professional environment. It aims at giving exposure to law students on important issues arising in the contemporary social and legal environment. We proudly announce our fifth National Book <coughs> Competition 2023 commencing today. I offer a warm welcome to our guests for today, Professor Ranveer Singh and Shri K. A. Madrinath. Today, I feel extremely honored to introduce our esteemed guest, Professor Dr. Ranveer Singh, Pro Chancellor, IALM Gurgaon, and Shri K. Madrinath, Director and Chief Executive Engineer for Integrated and Holistic Studies in New Delhi. Welcome, you, sir. Professor Dr. Ranveer Singh is a big personality in the field of law. After serving as professor at National Law School of India University, NLS IU Bangalore, in the year 96-97, was appointed as the founder vice chancellor of Nalsar University of Law, Hyderabad, in the year 1998, where he served till the year 2008. It was also the year when, out of all the law school, Nalsar University of Hyderabad was rated as the best law school in the country. He was then invited to be appointed as the founder vice chancellor of National Law University Delhi in 2008, which is a dream university where every student would like to have an admission. When he served till September 2020, Professor Singh has been a vice chancellor for almost 22 years, being one of the longest serving vice chancellors. Professor Singh has recently been elected as the Governor of the Board International Association of Law Schools, USA. He has also uh, been for some time the Chairperson of Committee for Reforms in Criminal Laws constituted by the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. He is also member board of the Management International Association of Universities, Paris, member council, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, ACU, London, and also past president of Association of Indian Universities, AIU and SICI. It's an honor once again, sir, and thanks for spending your valuable time with us. I now request our honorable vice chairman, sir, to welcome Professor Dr. Rinvi Singh with the sap He is director and chief executive at the Center of Integrated and Holistic Studies. He is a journalist with 37 years experience across media platforms. Badrinath sir is visiting faculty at a dozen of media and media management <laughs> 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 Why voting? Why we cannot vote? I'm not here for a lecture. Why we cannot vote? What is the meeting for? Is it an activity? Is it a competition? Why? Why votes? Everybody from the voters. What is the purpose? What is the idea? What is the aim? What is the objective? Please, please, wonderful. Please. Sir, simulation of vote basically. Simulation of vote. Simulation of vote. Which vote? Uh, you have a Royal Indian court, you have a High Court, you have a Supreme Court, which court? Uh, usually High Court or uh, Supreme Court. Supreme Court, trust, he is a third court. Right? In my time, she used to organize book of mock court, mock trials. Because everybody will not go to the High Court or the Supreme Court. How many of us would have the chance to go to the Supreme Court or the High Court? So, 
we we develop expertise also at the district court level, and for that we have to have more tracks. Now this is the later event. After the emergence of the law schools, we started having the more court competitions, right? Which part of the slavers in Marconcel say that more court is coming? Which part of the slavers? We have 24, that's more 8, 28 papers, probably. No. So which is that paper which says more court is compulsory? I love to speak to students. I never left teaching. I used to be seniors at one time. Then I started teaching first years legal matter. It's always good to intake the first years because then you are students for five years. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what is uh, that paper in provided by the Bhagavans of India, which says that moving is an essential activity because when Bhagavans will come, they say you change your code for true. First thing they do, no? Legally, code for true. Right? Any idea? It is a part of the compulsory clinical legal education program. Why coding? Learning by doing. You will be performing here. Learning by doing. If anybody will ask me what kind of professions you want to produce in a law school? What kind of professions you want to produce? May I have a What kind of professionals do you want to produce based on professions? What kind of best? Everybody says I'm best. What do you mean by the best professionals? Who are the best professionals? What kind? What is your mandate? I mean, I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to अरे मुझे रोडमैप का नहीं पता मुझे कहाँ जा रहा है मैं जाऊँगा कहाँ बीच में गड़बड़ हो गई थी है ना You should know where you want to go This is one activity which is very very important for a lawyer but where do you want to go आ जाना चाहते हैं ये तो काम है जी If you don't know where you want to go how do you reach there कैसे पहुंचे क्या? हाँ? तो पहुंची नहीं पाएंगे। आप पेनी में तक खा जाएंगे। आई बस तो वेल गीता लेते हैं। थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी एंड इट इज प्रिविलेज फॉर मी फॉर टीम मैनेजमेंट टू गिव मी दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी। आई कूड सी वेल इज गीता लेते हैं। नेक्स्ट टाइम गीता भी होगी। व्हाट आर द क्या मैनेज है? सोचना शुरू करो भाई ये ऐसे नहीं काम करने वाले हैं, राइट? वोटिंग इज अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट एक्टिविटी बट व्हाई? वेल यू वांट टू वोट यस यस प्लीज प्लीज काम करें आप ही बना रहे हैं तो और कोई नहीं बोलना है अच्छा ये आर इंप्रूव्स ऑरेटर स्किल्स आई थिंक ऑरेटर स्किल्स एंड � and your research skills also. Okay, very good. Bakke ko bata hai. See, mandate of, listen to it. Mandate of any law school. How many law schools are there? In all in the country? What is the land share of legal education? Let me check your knowledge. How many institutions teaching law? I'm, I was given five minutes, uh, but I'm not going to uh, listen to them. <laughs> so, say you all yours. Yes, five minutes doesn't uh, suit a teacher. How many institutions are teaching law in the country? They have to law school. They have to law school. They have to law school. 
How many? 1800. I am the member of the Legal Education Committee, the Standing Committee, Mark on the Vigya. More are being added every month. Now, almost 1800 law institutions in the country, right? 250 law faculties and more than 25 law schools. The first thing we have to ask is where are we? Where we stand? I'm constant. Is voting for mar marketing ourselves? Most of the voting is done for marketing. Article education is in the market. And that's okay. The education is a market. I fight with them. I say nonsense. Stop this. Education is not a market. It is not demand and supply. It is not a commodity. It is value in itself. When you learn so many things, it can't be in the market. There can be market for so many things, but not for education. So, without investing any time, broadly, the three mandates of any law school which should produce what kind of professionals? The aim is to produce professionals who are technically sound, number one. Technically sound. What do you mean by technically sound? Technically sound. After COVID, you see, na? If you technically sound, then you will get the cow. Best one. I will ask my wife, I will ask my daughter, even my granddaughter will tell me, Nana, you don't know how to afford it. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. 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 That interface between technology and law has become very, very important in the modern times. Right? Technologically sound, technically sound. You must acquire the expertise to be technology sound, technology savvy. A lot of machine learning happened during COVID. Blended learning, you know, online teaching. Right? Second is you should be professionally competent. First is technically sound. Second is professionally competent. What do you mean by professionally competent? What is what do you mean by professionally competent? What how do you become professionally competent? If you don't answer, you can do it. It is a two way learning. It is not that I come for a profile, some lecture for 30 40 minutes, speak and get out. Who say learning here? What is professionally competent? Yes, please. Huh? Yeah, no, I have. This is disappointing. Please, sit down. Professionally competent. A piece. Sir, to have a head of knowledge for what? Of any professional degree, whatever. Profession voting. Is. Why do you voting? You become professionally competent. Sir, to gain that. Voting is only head. Actually, voting is only head. That you want to become professionally competent. Lawyers are professional. Get any. Voting is only a head. To make you competent professionally. What is the competence? Speaking, researching, I, I tell you, I tell you, I, I have a whole list when I was traveling. I have drawn a list of values, the, 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 the qualities it nurtures in a, in a law student when you do voting. So technically, technically sound, professionally competent, and third is socially relevant. Right? You may be a good lawyer, you may be making a lot of money, but if you are not socially relevant, that it is useless. You, if you are not a good human being, how you become a good human being in law school? How you become a good human being? Yes, sir. Sorry for taking panga with me. Punjabi with panga with me. Why? What is how you become socially relevant? Kaise aate hain? You come from society, na? 
कोई आपके ऑब्लिगेशन है सोसाइटी के प्रति के नहीं है वट इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टूवर्ड सोसाइटी हाउ डू यू कम सोशली रिलेवेंट यस वेरी गुड वन गुड इसको तो गोल्ड मेडल देना चाहिए That is what activity. Legal aid we do. Legal awareness. We are not villages. We are not uh, uh, attend local habits because we want to be socially relevant. If boys will not be socially relevant, who else would be? Why? Tell me names of how many management people, how many doctors, how many engineers brought to help me. Can you tell me about it? स्टूडेंट स्टैंड में पार्ट बताइए जरा आप नाम बताइए हाउ मेनी लॉयर्स सर हाउ मेनी लॉयर्स फ्रीडम टू एनी कंट्री एट एन इंटरनेशनल नेशनल लेवल केम बिकॉज ऑफ दिस कगर ऑफ यू लॉयर्स मे बी नेहरू मे बी गांधी मे बी इंटरनेशनल लेवल नेशनल मंडेला मे बी होल दिस असेंबली लैंग्वेज ऑफ लॉयर्स दो फॉर्ट फॉर द कंट्री लेफ्ट देयर सर्विसेस सोल्ड एंड लैंड एंड एंड दैट इज बींग सोशल नो सम सोल्ड वेट टू गांधी जी एंड सेट गांधी जी You say that we should wear indigenous clothes, but ये तो खादी तो बहुत महंगी है, ये तो पॉलिस्टर से महंगी है। Then why should you not use polyester? कल ये लेकर कल आ, कल आ। Those who again went to him in the morning, and uh, they said, Bapu, uh, answer our question. कभी ने कहा कि I have already answered your question. They could not understand how he has answered the question. He said, "We uh, could not understand." He said, "Look at me." When they looked at him, he said, "The Bapu is not wearing a kurta today." He said, "If you find that costly, cut your demand, make it cheap." After that, he never wore a kurta. You know that he never wore a kurta. Those are the kind of kind of figures. Right. So, uh, since we don't have much time, uh, friends, the values which Mukut nurtures in you, in you is self-confidence. When you come here and speak, you deal with conflict. You deal with stress. I see how much stress is on your faces when you come and move here. Right. Your face, most of the faces are pale, huh? and and some will speak very slow, some will speak, speak very fast. Like one of the girls was speaking here. Yeah. It is problem solving, and then you deal with criticism. You you have one side of the story, the other person has another side of the story, and and lawyers can't concur. You know, they have to argue against each other. Otherwise, the purpose is not achieved. You must have clear thinking. And you must identify resources. How to prepare your own problem? Which which place to go? Which library to go? Which database? Which software? Which books? Which primary sources? Which secondary sources? Is that? Otherwise, the more code they have. So that means you learn doing the research in the very beginning. See, what is that? I didn't get that. Okay, three three Charlie Valley users. Research you you know how to research right? But very little stuff. Say when we used to do voting in Hyderabad or here, we used to see that it is very inclusive. So it's inclusive, not exclusive. Inclusive would be participatory. Allow every as many students as you can afford. to part in moting so we are we are doing moting for developing professional competences and all these skills 
कैसे करेंगे इसको नॉट दैट दैट वी टू फाइव सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स और पांच के पांच साल वही बच्चे जाएंगे हमें तो जीतना है विनिंग ए मूव इज नॉट एक्ट मोर नॉट दी एम बिल्कुल नहीं एम है The the aim is to develop competencies, and how we do it in law schools? I mean, like the moment you take admission in law school, like you know, first we will organize inter-class board for them. First year, they take fifth year. Then intra-class competition, right? Then we prepare a list of tutors and researchers. And they will be, or we will be going to all our schools, colleges, whatever, national, international. Everybody gets a chance, and they will be replaced next year, next session. We will serve them today, so that every gets, everybody gets a chance. Winning or losing is not that important. Is what is important is providing you competences, providing you opportunity. It should be more inclusive. Anna. We have to address diversity, access, affordability. No, because this country has got huge knowledge divide, huge technological divide. So, if we have to divide it, we have to bridge all these divide. And then it also uh, probably give you another uh, feedback is you learn effective speaking. When you argue in a court court, you learn effective speaking, effective listening. Listening is also important. What the other party is saying and what we have to argue about. देखा ना बच्चे चीज़ पास करते हैं पढ़ा 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 प Application of learning, how you apply the learning which you are learning there through modes and also on its behavior. And you know, in modes probably you don't cheat. Right? You always uh, give the correct this law. So uh, I'm not going to this is a full list of 30, 40 values which you nurture through the mode for activities. And uh, finally, uh, somebody asked Michael and Dilo. आपने सुना बाइक के लिए जो करना बहुत अच्छे स्टेचुल का है ना तो मिस्टर बाइक के लिए जो लो हाउ यू प्रोड्यूस सो ब्यूटीफुल स्टेचुल्स ही सेड नो आई डोंट प्रोड्यूस एनी स्टेचु डी मार्बल फॉर मी हैज ऑलरेडी हैव दिस ब्यूटीफुल स्टेचु माय जॉब इज टू चीजन इट एंड ब्रिंग इट आउट हमारा काम है उसको तराशने का और उसको Friends, the job of the law school, the job of the teacher is also to judge you and see that you bring out as best of professionals, best of advocates through these activities like food courts which we organize. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Your words truly gave us all a word we learned. We now invite our esteemed guest, K. A. Bhatrinath sir, to come on stage and share his experience with us. I come for a longer time. Okay. Eight hundred feet. So I was also wondering, 
uh, mooting is not my competence, like uh, Professor Singh's ease. But yes, research is my competence. Writing is my competence. Analytical thinking is my competence. Perhaps that's why Anil would have decided to call me. As a journal, as a journalist, <coughs> it was funny about the question. One second. As a journalist, we are trained to know. Question I don't accept anything by my, my face. I don't accept anything except the Lord's presence somehow, which is all pervasive. So, many a time we journalists go bonkers by questioning. So, sometimes when I listen to debates in the parliament, which I have covered for about 30 years. So I also think that many a time our uh, public representatives go bonkers. I speak out of context. Things like And for a few years, since my legal reporter was not reporting to work, I had the chance to go to the Supreme Court. There again, I found that many of the lawyers were speaking out of context. Maybe there was a reason to what they were doing. But it was not palatable to, for me that the what are they doing? Many of them we think that you know Parliament's time and resources are being wasted because uh, you know they are not focusing on the right issues and all. The same way I felt that is the court actually investing its time very well in dealing with the right issues and focus. This is what went through my mind. But I have visited a couple of law institutions. <coughs> my guess is or at least we have to pose for ourselves. This is one thing which is coming. I give you why the reason is that I come from Andhra Pradesh and all over Telangana, the Naxalite movement was very strong. Why did the Naxalite movement become so strong? Because nobody in Telangana had access to legal systems. Going to the Mufasid court became a pain and suffering for the people. That made popular. The Praja court, which was being held very rude and crude, courts that were held by the Nazarite leaders there, became the huge success because of the not having access to judicial systems. So, when you trace the history and evolution of the legal systems here, I am not a lawyer, I cannot argue my case, but I can just think as a professional. I was just going to Justice B. N. Sri Krishna's uh, lecture of uh, in Abhagra in 2016. He, what he talks about is about the Dharma Shastra, jurisprudence, is what he talked about that day. I recall very vaguely saying that jurisprudence is nothing but human relationships, which are actually very, very intense, aggressive. And many a time, it is all give and take in a society, nation, and the world. Why I brought that was that unless we 
in Goba the philosophy of Dharma Shastra. We cannot be socially relevant socially relevant legal professionals. We will have a British legality, I mean the legacy to our courts and things like that. But my guess is we need to go before and research just before that. From the Vedic period, how the legal systems are evolved. How perhaps they might not have the moot courts of these days, but they they are moot and Nyaya Prakriya was different. So I'm not very good at Hindi. I try to keep reading <laughs> what it is about. So my guess is that two points. One, are we being socially relevant? Number one, which is a serious issue that is bogging the legal profession, not only in this country, globally. We are all making money, fine. I'm not against making money. Are living honor of brain. But are we socially relevant or not is a question that we need to ask ourselves. Second big issue, I have a problem actually, is that uh, starting from the Supreme Court downwards, every day there is an effort flawlessly to hit the headline. How do we like hit the headline? seems to be the focus of the courts and rather than delivering justice to the people of this country. I'm sorry to say, I feel pain. When you see the chief justice of this country, I may not be tried out in the court of law for saying this, but yes, he talks like an 18 year old boy on the streets of New York. Gender fluidity is an accepted issue. So the court or the five wise men and a woman would decide as to whether the same-sex marriage should be legalized or not. And I will decide here. I will give a constitutional declaration here to say that whether you can live with other person or not. What is this? You have five crore pending cases which you cannot deliver just in the next hundred years. What is your priority? This is what pains us. How the pain and suffering of the people is different. How you let the woman and the man decide how they want to live? Are the two women are living on their own? Just leave it to them, no? Why do you want to regulate? If at all it has to be decided, let the nation decide. My guess, at least, is that stepping on to someone else's activity is the issue. Yeah. The constant friction between governance and legal institution or the judiciary seems to be the biggest issue in this country today. Let's not turn ourselves into another Pakistan where the judiciary thinks one way the uh, political leadership or the elected representatives think the other way and the army takes over. What I'm trying to say, there should be some way to respect each other's domains. For example, there is not one case I'm talking about. You want to be always in the midst of politics of this country or you want to deliver justice to the people of this country? Is Delhi the same as these other states? It's more like a <coughs> metropolitan council which is in a larger format. And now you say that I will sit on the judgment as to whether services come under Arvind Kejriwal or will it be decided by the Home Minister. <coughs> so it is. 
Hello? You have no business? Sorry? You want to get into politics? Just reserve from the core, go and find politics. No? There are a lot of like, uh, there are a lot of people who are satisfied with this country. Just reserve from the court and go. Why should he be, why should they sit up? And today what has happened? He said that look, I think everyone will have me. Last say who will be his officer. Now what has happened? The government of India brought in an ordinance yesterday night. I was just in the industrial the burgessor and it was being drafted. And said that look, I have another authority. Every system has its own dynamics. We need to respect each institution for their strengths as well as the chaos. Scans is not limited to just you know, judicial systems. Chaos is not limited to just democratical institutions. Chaos is not it's not that the press is free of everything and it's the best. No. We have our own chaos in the newsroom. A big story will be put on page one, which will go inside. We deal with that. What I would expect is that some amount of uh, you know, integrity in the sense of you know, respecting other institutions is what seems to be lacking. My guess is that if we go on like this, maybe we are in a big trouble. So this is something which is bothering me in every way. Perhaps these are issues that we need to, larger issues we need to think. It's not that you know it is somewhere related directly to your moot court. How do we deliver justice to the lowest level of people with the least pocket money that they have to fund their lawyers? When one day I raised an issue with corruption in the judiciary. Then one dead star in the state said, I will put you behind bars. Sir, I am protected under the press laws, so you cannot do anything to me. And he said, he had the gumption to say, I will put you behind the bars. I said, order, sir, most welcome. Finally, sir, I was investigating a corruption related issue. Then the military intelligence went to the court saying that look sir, he is uh, anti-India, so he is investigating this deal. Sukhoi deal. I am investigating the Sukhoi deal. Sukhoi deal. Uh, uh, that we got. There was corruption. Then the military intelligence went and said that sir, it is against the Indian interest, so this man should be put behind the bars. Then the court asked me, look, Either you turn an approval or you, turn, you accept your uh, from, I mean, issue or we will take action. Then I went to the press council. Sir, I have some rights in the journal. Can you respect my own freedom? So, point I am trying to say, but again I am coming back to the issue. That are we delivering justice to the lowest run of people in this country? When they talk about it, the people say, Oh, you have not allowed me to appoint judicial officers, you see, you have not given me resources, you have not given me this. In the first place, had it ever been your priority? Your priority had been to hog your head now. There is nothing called delivering justice in the country anymore. It pains us. So this is an issue as young professionals we need to look at. Second, corruption is rampant. To invite white general sir to honor our respected guests with the memento and shawl at the same time. Dear Kalvi sir, Madhuri Ramji, Distinguished judges, esteemed participants, faculty, staff, 
and my beloved dear students. With great pleasure, I hereby declare the fifth national moot court competition officially open. <laughs> Let the pursuit of legal excellence, the power of persuasive advocacy, and the spirit of justice guide us throughout this remarkable event. May the participants showcase their knowledge, skills, dedication to the law, and may the judges bring the forth their wisdom, discriminant and impact. Let this competition be a testament to the strength and brilliance of a legal community as we come together to celebrate the noble profession that upholds the pillars of justice. Let the arguments be heard, the ideas be exchanged and the bonds of amity be forged. May this competition be a stepping stone towards a future where the rule of law remains supreme and where the justice is accessible to one and all. I wish each and every participant the very best and may this journey be filled with immense learning, growth and personal fulfillment. Let us embark on this adventure as with enthusiasm, integrity and unwavering determination to make a positive impact on the legal landscape. Once again, I declare the fifth national moot court competition open. Thank you all. Let the proceedings begin. We would now like to invite our Assistant Professor and Event Convener to give a vote of thanks. to one and all present here, I, Muskan Grower, is honored to give a vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion of the 5th National Moot Court Competition Inauguration Ceremony and I would like to thank our guests, Professor Dr. Ranveer Singh and Sri K. Badrinath for spending this uh, time from their very uh, busy schedule and being here. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to share that National Moot Court Competition is a very special and an important annual event of CLS Gifts. I proudly say that we have witnessed four very successful National Moot Court Competitions in the past. Even during the COVID-19 period of uh, the COVID, we did not deter and we were able to conduct virtual national mood board competitions. We witnessed very large number of colleges participating in our event across India. I pray to God that He showers His blessings on all of us to make the 5th national mood board competition a success and which has started with the inauguration ceremony being culminated just now. I take this opportunity to thank our guests. I, on behalf of Gita International Business School and the entire team of 5th National Moot Court Competition and on my own behalf, thank Sri K. Badrinath, Director and Chief Executive, CIHS and Professor Dr. Ranveer Singh, Pro-Chancellor, IILM University for accepting our invitation and gracing this occasion. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time and thank you for your enlightening words, encouraging the students and we will surely follow your footsteps. I would like also to thank the judges for the preliminary round who are here. I would uh, welcome all the participants who have come from the various universities and colleges. I hope you enjoy the event and you take back great learnings from this event and we hope that you are there for the next National Moot Court competition next year. I would also like to thank our Chairman Sir, Sri Anand Jindal, Vice Chairman Sir, Sri Anirudh Jindal, Director Sir, Professor Dr. Vikas Nath, Dean Ma'am, Ms. Prachi Jindal for their constant support, guidance and encouragement throughout the event and always. Thank you so much. Let's thank you all. Let's start with the competition. May the best team win. Thank you. 